My name is Ron Serrato and for over 30 years I've been developing software, selling it and marketing it regarding mortgage calculations, in particular amortization schedules. I've been doing this for both the Canadian and the American market and I've presented seminars to both Canadians and American financial planners and the public at large. Hopefully the next four minutes in this video will pique your interest and make you pay attention to your mortgage because for most people in North America, Americans and Canadians, your mortgage is the biggest investment of your life. So I feel you should know something about it. I want to make a non-politically correct statement and I'll do it diplomatically and by emphatically stating that not all North American lenders are equal. The majority of the lenders will not lie to you. However, they won't tell you everything you need to know about a mortgage or else you'll be on a level playing field and I can guarantee you, <laughs> you'll make different decisions regarding your mortgage when you're on a, a level playing field. What if I told you this evening that I could show you a technique or a method that would give you a guaranteed, and notice the word I just said, guaranteed, 15 to 1 return on your investment. It's a fact. It's called investing in your mortgage. Now if you wanted to play hockey against an NHL team, would it not make sense to understand the game and be able to skate as well as your opponents? So if you want to win, if you want to play the mortgage game, and you want to win, you must invest a little bit of time in some simple mathematics that I'm going to discuss in the next two or three minutes. As Canadians, and forgive me for a moment, I'm going to point out two aspects of Canadian mortgages where we have an advantage over our American neighbors in the South. So allow me my 15 minutes of fame here. But I, I do want to share a couple of myths and get them out of the way right up front. We don't do anything special or fancy up here in Canada. Canadian and American mortgages are calculated exactly the same way and that's worth repeating. Canadian and American mortgages are calculated exactly the same way. There's no difference between a Canadian and American mortgage. Anyone that tells you differently is lying to your face or they're mathematically challenged. The only difference, okay, the only difference between a Canadian and an American mortgage is the numerical value of the monthly interest factor. Now what's a monthly interest factor? A monthly interest factor, plain and simple, and you can do this math on your fingers, if your APR or annual interest rate is 12%, in the United States your monthly interest factor is 1%, which is 0 0.01. The interest factor, that 0 0.01, for an APR of 12%, that interest factor is used at the end of the month to multiply by the outstanding balance to calculate the interest that is owed to the lender for the use of their money for the prior month that just went by. Nothing more, nothing less. Any amount of money in excess of that interest calculation automatically by definition goes towards paying down the principal. It's that simple. Now, one of these two exam or two advantages that we as Canadians have over our American counterparts, borrowers in the States, is that for a given interest rate, and I won't go into the details why, but suffice to say for a given interest rate, a Canadian monthly interest factor is a little bit smaller than an American monthly interest factor. And that example that I just said of 12% APR, 0.01 is the monthly interest factor for Americans. In Canada, it's a little bit less. It's 0 0.00975 for the mathematically inclined people out there. So therefore, for a Canadian mortgage, for the same amount of money amortized over the same amount of time for the exact same annual interest rate, or APR, we Canadians pay less in interest. This is a fact, and you can ask any university professor of finance to verify this. I challenge you to do that. Now, Canadians have another advantage over our American neighbors. In Canada, instead of paying monthly payments, we can pay our mortgage back with weekly or bi-weekly payments. In the United States, lenders will not offer you a weekly or bi-weekly payment plan. 
Now, don't run out and jump off a bridge right now and, and feel despair. There is a second best. It's not as good, but it's a second best solution to minimize your interest costs. You can prepay principal. What I mean by that is you can prepay principal portions of future payments and you save that interest. That is such an important concept that you can exercise as an American borrower. However, the bad news is you must understand and have an amortization schedule. So don't take it from me. Whether you get an amortization schedule from my software, from me personally, or from the internet, because there's a gazillion places on the internet that will give you an amortization schedule. You must have one because an amortization schedule is actually a financial roadmap that shows you how to arrive at a debt-free destination. Now that's very, very powerful. So if your lender, after you sign the legal papers, does not offer you an amortization schedule, a flag should go off. Why? Don't be fooled by gimmicks such as free balloons and skipping monthly payments or the ability to double or triple your monthly payment at any time. Most people can barely today make their monthly payments, never mind double or triple it. So don't be fooled by those gimmicks. And that's what they are, gimmicks, because if you get fooled by that, as a lot of Americans are finding out, you pay severely down the road in interest. So tonight, if you're seriously interested in wanting to minimize your interest costs, I ask you to go to my website, amortization.com, read some of the articles, but in particular, read the articles on prepaying principal. I end by saying, happy mortgaging, thank you for your time.